Are you fed up with being lied to about what's really going on in space and on the moon? The NASA probe has discovered a bizarre, huge mass under the surface of the moon, and it should be clear by now, we are not alone in the universe. The ideas that there are moon people or a dark threat emanating from the moon are possibly as old as the moon itself. We have been sending probes to the moon for around 100 years, and humans have also been there and looked around. The second person to ever set foot on the moon was Buzz Aldrin. Together with his astronaut colleague, Neil Armstrong, Aldrin was on the moon as part of the Apollo 11 mission, and what he saw there is incredible. At the age of 84, Aldrin gave a thought-provoking television interview that caused quite a stir. For the first time, Aldrin spoke about an incident during the moon landing that he had not said a word about for more than 40 years. A quote from Aldrin, Through the window, I saw a light that was apparently moving parallel to us. In the interview, Aldrin reported that during the entire landing approach in 1969, a green light flew parallel to the landing capsule in which Aldrin and Armstrong were located. Aldrin went on to say that this light had remained unidentified for all those years. The space veteran went on to say that there were explanations that did not point to a spaceship from other nations or other worlds. It could also have been a piece of the rocket stage, a shutter that reflected the sunlight. But anyone who correctly interpreted Aldrin's undertones in the interview immediately understood that this man himself did not believe in a natural explanation. For Aldrin, the light was something that followed them and watched the two astronauts as they flew to the moon. This was by no means the only sighting of aliens around the moon. Alan Bean saw a strange pillar of light during the Apollo 12 mission. In 1971, Apollo 15 astronaut James Irwin filmed an object that looked like a flying saucer hovering over the surface of the moon. NASA repeatedly claims that sightings like this are optical illusions. Light phenomena are dismissed as dust or camera reflections, but the community of those who have completely different explanations is already huge. Even if NASA astronauts are not allowed to talk, there are now dozens of whistleblowers and witnesses even from within NASA, who report that aliens maintain secret bases on the moon. In the 1990s, the U.S. psychic Ingo Swan published a bestseller in which he describes how the FBI asked him to look at the moon via remote viewing in the 1970s. What he saw there gave him the shivers. Aliens who were doing some kind of work there and were obviously not very friendly towards humans. But what could the aliens want there? And are they really dangerous? A gigantic structure provides the answer. The Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter has been in the vicinity of the moon since 2009. NASA's probe found something enormous in the shadowy regions near the poles. There was evidence of huge deposits of water ice. This discovery completely changes our view of the moon. For a long time, we thought the moon was boring, a completely dry celestial body, and that no life was possible there. But that's not true. There is water on the moon, at least enough to fill a small ocean. But the orbiter found even more. Signs of huge lava tunnels on the lunar surface show that the moon was once a geologically active world like ours. Not only are these tunnels unusual geological structures, scientists also admitted that they could provide potential sites for future human bases as they offer protection from extreme temperatures and radiation. Recordings of moonquakes revealed another phenomenon that should give us pause for thought. Several smaller impacts of meteorites left behind a strange phenomenon. The moon reverberated in such a peculiar way that scientists concluded that the moon could be almost hollow inside. If there are numerous caves on the moon that are suitable places to live, the moon is apparently quite hollowed out and there is water on site. Other beings could have already come up with the idea of settling there or at least maintaining a base. What the aliens find so interesting about the moon can now be explained quite simply. Mining on the moon? Isn't it fascinating that a mining expert has recognized traces of mining and even the outline of a mining vehicle on images of the moon? The evidence is almost overwhelming and the rumors that there are aliens mining a resource on the moon can be traced back to the 1950s and 60s. But how did humans come up with this idea? It was either exceptionally gifted people like the clairvoyant Ingo Swan or whistleblowers from NASA or other institutions who leaked information. When remote viewer Ingo Swan 
saw aliens on the moon in the 1970s, he realized that they had been working in a crater. The mining activity fitted in very well with the behavior of the strange creatures. The fact that the FBI commissioned the clairvoyant to look at the moon shows that the National Security Agency and the U.S. government already had knowledge of the alien life forms at that time. Since the Chinese have been exploring the far side of the moon with the Chang'e 5 rover, we also know what the aliens are looking for there. In a tiny sample of lunar rock, researchers from the Faculty of Science in Beijing found a very rare resource on Earth, helium-3. This raw material could solve our entire energy problem and save the Earth from climate collapse. The helium-3 isotope is ideal for nuclear fusion, which is a clean and highly effective way of generating electricity. The smallest amounts of fusion reactions also provide many times more energy than nuclear fission. What we have only recently learned may have been discovered by another species long before us. On Earth, we are also currently considering how helium-3 can be harnessed. A single space shuttle loaded with the raw material would be enough to supply the entire USA with electricity for a year. However, we are not yet technically equipped to send space shuttles to the moon and back at low cost. A single mission would cost billions, and you can already see that this would not be entirely sustainable, at least not at the moment. However, it will only be a matter of time before we are technologically capable of doing so. At the latest, if we don't manage to meet the Earth's ever-increasing energy needs with renewable energies, we will certainly come back to the incredible treasure that the moon is guarding. Are the aliens still on the moon? The unresolved questions of why aliens are so interested in the moon would most likely be answered. Questions remain as to who these beings are, where they come from, and whether they are still on the moon. There are many other indications that there are huge spaceships and underground entrances on the far side of the moon. Is that why China sent the very first rover to the far side of the moon to find out what is really going on there? Allegedly, Chang'e 5 is on an ordinary mission to take a closer look at the side of the moon that has only been explored very little so far. But we can't know that for sure. The information situation is confusing. And if we believe the many informants who claim that NASA and company are concealing their true knowledge about the moon, we have to assume that missions like this always have objectives that we are not informed about. Quite normal, or lights from spaceships? Light phenomena on the moon are called transient lunar phenomena by astronomers, and they have been around since humans have been looking at the moon with telescopes. One fascinating phenomenon on the moon are so-called light rays, or ray cones, that emanate from certain craters. These rays are bright lines that supposedly occur during meteorite impacts and are caused by swirling lunar material. These rays can be hundreds of kilometers long, and some critical voices claim that phenomena like these are not always of natural origin. The transient lunar phenomena occur with surprising regularity and are observed from Earth with various telescopes. Professor Dr. Ing Hacken Kyle from JMU Würzburg is a researcher who has worked intensively on the phenomena. In an interview with German television, the researcher said that we urgently need to clarify the origin of the phenomena before we send people to the moon again and have settlers live there for any length of time. Professor Kyle was certainly not explicitly referring to the existence of extraterrestrial technologies and presences on the moon, but the scientist's concerns show very well that we may know too little about the moon to be able to ensure the long-term safety of humans there. Are the lunar settlements just a fake? UFO researchers and critics of NASA long agreed that the world's largest space agency abruptly discontinued its moon missions because the threat posed by the presence of extraterrestrials had become too great. So it was all the more surprising when NASA presented the Artemis plans. Allegedly, NASA had plans for a manned space station on the moon in the drawer as early as the 1980s. But why have the plans been reactivated now, of all times, and how serious is NASA about them? Since 2017, NASA engineers have allegedly been working on new rockets and a spacecraft that could safely reach the moon. Since then, the project has been constantly postponed. Behind closed doors, some experts have claimed that NASA never really intended to return to the moon, and that Artemis was just a fake to distract from facts that were being concealed. The global public was all the more surprised when Artemis 1 was launched on November 16, 2022. The unmanned space capsule, named Orion, flew to the moon, orbited it once, 
and then returned. Artemis II is expected to fly to the moon for the first time with astronauts on board in May 2024. However, a landing is only planned for the crew of Artemis III. It is not yet clear when this will take off. Other plans include sending a space capsule to the moon in collaboration with Elon Musk and SpaceX, which will also serve as an exploration vehicle. Two astronauts will then stay on the moon for two weeks and explore the South Pole region. Subscribe and look forward to the upcoming video hits.